welcome to Organic Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to talk about the topic of isomers. Specifically, we're going to look at what is an isomer and then a lot of examples of isomers. So what is an isomer? Compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. So they have the same number and the same kind of atoms but they are arranged in a different sequence. So as the number of carbon atoms increase, so does the number of possible isomers. So let's look at some examples. Here we have an isomer and I can look through this and say we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So I'm going to put C5. And then if I count all the hydrogens, I'll see that there are ultimately 12 hydrogens. Then I look over at this isomer over on my right and I'll count the carbons again. One, two, three, four, five, because we don't want to miss this carbon down here. So it would be C5. And again, if I count the hydrogens, it will also have 12 hydrogens. The key thing here is that this molecule over on the left is a straight chained hydrocarbon. The molecule over on the right is a straight chained hydrocarbon, but it also includes a branch. So if we were to write the condensed structural formulas of these, they would look different. So for my molecule over on the left, the condensed structural formula would be CH3, CH2, 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 and then again CH3. My molecule over on the right has a branch, so the condensed structural formula is going to be slightly different. It is going to be CH3, CH, and then I'm going to include the branch. And when I include that branch, remember we have to put that in parentheses, CH3, and parentheses, CH2, CH3. So again, these are isomers of each other because they have the same molecular formula, but they are definitely different structural formulas. Let's look at another example. Here we have a molecule over on the bottom left-hand corner. And if I count up the number of carbons, I have one, two carbons. So that's going to be C2. Count up my hydrogens. So one, two, three, four, five, six six hydrogens, and then finally, one oxygen located right here. Now let's look at the molecule in the bottom right-hand corner. Again, we have one, two carbons, so C2, one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, H6, and one oxygen right here. So if we look at these molecular formulas, we can see that they are exactly the same. But these molecules are very, very different. What you're going to learn is that one is an alcohol and the other one is an ether. So if I was to write out the condensed structural formula of the one on the left, it would be CH3, CH2OH. And the one on the right would be CH3OC. H3. Again, they have the same molecular formula, but definitely different structural formulas. Let's draw two new examples. So what if I put C through some hydrogens around here, put another C, double bonded oxygen, another carbon right there. That's one molecule. Oops, it's a pretty poor looking H. And then let's change this up a little bit and put C, H, 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 another carbon, but let's move that H over here and another one over here. And now let's put that double bonded oxygen on the end. Are these isomers of each other? Well, let's look at it. If I was to go through and count the number of carbons on the left, I would have one, two, three. So C3, count the number of hydrogens, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six hydrogens, and then one oxygen right here. There's my one oxygen. And let's do the same thing for the molecule over on the right. One, two, three carbons, 
So C3, number of hydrogens, one, two, three, four, five, six, six hydrogens, and finally that one oxygen right here. So are these isomers of each other? Absolutely they are. They both have the same molecular formula. Now, they're very different structures. The one on the left is a ketone, while the one on the right is an aldehyde. If I was to write the condensed structural formula for the one on the left, I would write CH3CO, representing that double bonded oxygen, and then finally CH3. If I was to do the condensed structural formula of the one on the right, again, I'd start over at the left with the first carbon, CH3, CH2. Now here's where things get sort of interesting. I don't want to put COH. That's an alcohol. So when you have something called an aldehyde, and we'll see this again in the future, we want to write this condensed structural formula as CHO. And that is really, really important because that is different from what an alcohol looks like and something that you need to be familiar with. So what did you learn? We talked about what the definition was of an isomer, and then we looked at a lot of different examples. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.